order of American court, extraditing Taha Hussein Rana is a great victory for India. major breakthrough because myself and the government of India's three high officials had visited Islamabad and we were very keen to see whether the Pakistan is prosecuting the conspirators uh, who had hatched the criminal conspiracy for the terror attack of Mumbai on 26 November. But Pakistani authorities were asking us to furnish evidence. So after examining David Headley, we have given the entire evidence that Pakistan did not act. But I think this uh, extradition order of Tahaur Rana uh, would help us in many ways uh, for opening the entire gate of the criminal conspiracy because Tahaur Rana was working as a doctor earlier in Pakistan. Headley before the attack had visited Mumbai. After the attack had visited Mumbai, he had taken the photographs and he handed over the photographs of the targeted places to the Lashkar. David Headley was convicted by American court for 35 years. It was a plea bargain agreement, thereby it was agreed between the American government and David Headley that he will not be transferred either to India or Pakistan, but he can give the evidence. By using this plea, plea bargain, we have decided to tender pardon to David Haley, and accordingly we have made an approval, giving the more detailed scope. David Headley had given the sensitive revelation disclosing the close links between the Lashkar e Toiba, that is Jamaat and that is, uh, that is the Pakistan Army officer. David Headley has also produced certain email correspondence which was exchanged between Lashkar e Toiba operatives as well as the Pakistani people. So I think the order of the extradition of Tahaur Ra is a very clinching, uh, would be clinching evidence uh, so far as uh, the further opening the scope of the entire criminal conspiracy.